The Perfume Pagoda is a vast complex of Buddhist pagodas and shrines, built into the limestone Huantich Mountains. Every year, during Tet holiday, millions of Buddhists and visitors from different parts of the country flock to the pagoda to admire the mountainous scenery and wish for good luck and happiness. Along with the development of the society, the Perfume Pagoda Festival has become a big festival. It is annually held on lunar January 6, attracting millions of visitors. There are many ways to reach the Perfume Pagoda, and visitors often choose the two following ways. If they come to the pagoda from Hongkong district or Hong Mai district, they follow Fat Van Kaugi Road. When they reach Dong Van, they turn right and then follow a new road. They reach a dike. Then they turn right and follow the dike until they reach Chodao. It takes them one hour and a half to pass a 70 kilometer road in the night time and 1 hour and 45 minutes to pass the road in the daytime with a 16-seater car. If their houses are located in Hectares de Armaiden, they can follow the Bula Road. And it takes them over Ancients wanted to imply that visitors' souls are dirty when they begin their journey to the pagoda. If you start out in the early morning, you won't definitely see the boat and river but will feel as if you were entering the fairyland. The Perfume Pagoda is a vast complex of Buddhist pagodas and shrines, built into the limestone Huantich Mountains. There are many architectural works in the Perfume Pagoda complex. And one of the main architectural works is the In True Heaven Kitchen Pagoda.
also known as Kulungo A, Outer Pagoda. The Intro Pagoda is located not far away from Tra Wharf, from which pilgrims travel on foot to the pagoda. The pagoda three tar gate was built on three wide yards paved with bricks. There is a bell tower with three floors in the third yard. Legend has it that, in the reign of King Lepantong in the 15th century, in his visit to the south, the king visited this land and named it the Intru. Then, three monks came here to lead a religious life. However, until 1687, monk Tran Jalvin Kuang Chaun came here to lead a religious life and this land was developed into a famous place of interest as it is today. When pilgrims come to the Intru Heaven Kitchen Pagoda, they make full preparations for their visit to Kulatra. Our head at the pagoda located in the cave. Every year, visitors from different places came here to light incense sticks.
we will have to pass about 100 stone steps to reach the bottom of the cave from its gate. When we reach the bottom of the cave, we will feel as if we did not have to pass a long way to reach here. The cave looks like a dragon flanking a pearl. This is where Lord Trin Sam visited and named Nam Thien Dien Hat Dong. There are also Duong Lent Hua, Path to Heaven, and Lu Zuong Em Fu, Path to Hell. Duong Lent Hua is a steep side and Lu Zuong Em Fu is a crevice. Thu Ongtit means aromatic seal. It is an aromatic seal which leaves a vivid impression on those who have come here once in their life. The Ontich cave looks look like a dragon wide mouth. A stalactite named Dungao rice stack, which is located near the gate of the cave, looks like the dragon tongue. There are many stalactites and stalagmites in the cave. They have different shapes and names such as Kabak, Silver Tree, Kavang. Gold tree, Dungao, rice stack, and so on. Pilgrims often under one particular stalactite which resembles a breast to catch drops of water in hopes of being blessed with health from the milk of the breast. There are many specialties in Huang Sun. Nature has bestowed these specialties to the land. They include precious herbs such as shampoo ginger, wild pineapples, which are used to cure many diseases. <laughs> 